In this video, I want to show you how to manage your Assessment Question Bank Manager. The Assessment Question Bank Manager is a place where you can store questions and organize them into folders that correspond exactly to the kinds of tests that you'll give. And from that Assessment Question Bank Manager, you can create assessments or assessment pools. In the Manage tab, in the Data Management Nugget, click Assessment Question Bank Manager. The organization of the assessment question bank in all courses is exactly like this. The top level folder will be called current course. Its subfolder will bear the name of the course. And to that subfolder you can add other folders to help organize all of the questions in your question bank. You click the arrow next to the subfolder and you can add a subfolder or you can add questions directly to the second level folder. I recommend adding subfolders so that you can organize your questions. Ideally, you should have hundreds or thousands of questions in your question bank. There are three ways to get questions into your question bank. Number one, you can create an assessment and have the questions automatically copied into your question bank. Number two, you can upload a publisher cartridge and if there are any tests in that publisher cartridge all of the questions on those tests will be added to the question bank and all of the subfolders underneath the course name will bear the name of the test from which those questions were drawn. Number three, you can manually add folders and questions to the question bank yourself simply by clicking this arrow, adding a subfolder or a question, and if you add a subfolder, you can add questions to that subfolder. Let's go to Lessons. I've already created an assessment, but I haven't added any questions to it yet, so let's go ahead and add questions. This is the first way to get questions into your question bank. Add question, and you can manually add. We'll just add a little true-false question. It's worth 10 points. Make sure that there's a check mark next to Add to Question Bank, and a copy of this question will go to the question bank. When you're finished, you click Save if you don't want to add any more questions, or Save and Create New. Let's do that. We'll add another True False question. Make sure there's a check mark next to Add to Question Bank, and let's just save this. We now have two questions on this assessment. Let's go back to the assessment question bank in Manage. And there is the subfolder that Angel just created. It's called Test 1 because the assessment that I created is called Test 1. And when you add questions from an assessment, Angel creates a subfolder under the course name that bears the same name as the test. There's a plus sign next to this folder, and Angel has added a subfolder to that folder called Questions. This is the basic organization pattern when Angel is adding the questions for you from assessments or from a publisher protected cartridge. Under the name of your course will be the name of the assessment from which the questions come, then a subfolder called Questions, and in that subfolder are the questions that are on the test. The second way to get questions into your question bank is via a publisher's cartridge. Let's go on to the third way, which is manually adding questions yourself. I'm going to close these folders. If you are an English teacher and you're teaching a literature course, you might have your course divided into three sections, poetry, drama, the novel. Remember, the folders in your question bank should correspond exactly to the kinds of tests you're going to give. So if you're going to give a test over poetry, you should have a folder called poetry from which to draw questions. So let's add a poetry folder. We click the arrow next to the course name, next to the second level folder, and then we click Add Subfolder. Give the subfolder the name Poetry and save it. And we now have a second folder. 
There's no plus sign next to it because we have no questions in it yet. Let's add drama, add subfolder, we'll call this drama, and save it. Now we can add questions to any of these folders, test one, poetry, or drama. We can also move questions around, change the names of folders, and so forth. You structure your test bank the way it works best for you. Let's add a couple of questions to poetry. We'll click Add Question. This is an essay question. Scroll down. We don't have the option to save to the test bank because we're actually in the test bank adding this question. I'm going to save and create another question to go into the poetry folder. And scroll down and save this question. I now have two questions in my poetry folder. Let's say that the test one folder, I want to call that, instead of test one, I want to call it the novel. Very easy. I click the arrow next to the folder, rename, and I'm going to call this the novel. Now my three folders correspond exactly to the kinds of tests I'm going to give in this class. Let's say that I want to move questions around. I don't want discuss Robert Frost stopping by woods in the poetry folder. I want it in the drama folder. Grab this white square, click it, and then drag it to the folder where you want it to go. And that question is moved into another folder. You can also edit and delete questions from your question bank by clicking the arrow next to the question and clicking edit or delete. Edit or delete. If you edit a question, you have the option of also editing it on the test. Let's edit a question in the novel folder because those questions are already on a test. So let's edit one and see what happens. Let's edit this first question, All Cats Have Nine Lives, by clicking the arrow next to the question, Edit, and let's change 9 to 8. You have the option down here, Update All Instances of This Question. If you want this question to change in any test in which the question exists, make sure there's a check mark there, and then click Save. If you only want to change it in the test bank and not in the test, then don't put a check mark next to update. We're going to save it. And you can see that the question has been changed in the test bank. Let's go to the test that we created in lessons. And it has also been changed here in the test. When you edit a question on a test, you also have the option of editing it in the test bank. When you edit it in the test bank, you have the same option of also editing its copy on the test. If you delete a question from the test bank, it will not delete it from the test. And if you delete a question from the test, it will not delete it from the question bank. So remember, when you edit questions, either on a test or in your test bank, you have the option of editing their copies wherever their copies appear in your course. When you delete a question from a test or the test bank, it will not delete it from the other places where it exists. You remember that this questions folder was created by Angel, but when you created poetry and drama, you added questions to the folder themselves. Let's say that you want to stay consistent and you want to move these questions out of the question folder and directly into the novel folder. Very easy to do. Grab that white square and drag it up to novel. And now both of your questions for the novel are in the novel folder and you can go ahead and delete this questions folder. Delete. Yes. When you delete a question or a folder it can take up to 60 seconds, so you just have to be patient and wait for it. Now you can see that the questions folder is gone and the two questions 
have been added directly to the novel folder, just like the questions in the poetry and drama folders are added directly to that folder. Let's talk about how to use your question bank. Let's go to Lessons. We've already created test one and added those questions to the test bank. Let's create another assessment based on the question bank. Add content, assessment. We'll give our assessment a name, test number two. And we're not going to configure these tabs for the sake of time. We'll simply save this and start adding questions. Just as when you're making any kind of assessment, you click Add Question. But this time we'll choose questions that are already in our question bank by clicking Browse Question Bank. And we get a list of the question banks in our current course. And you can see the ones that we just created, Novel, Poetry, Drama. But we also get a list of every question bank in every course in which we're an editor under My Courses. Additionally, you can choose from any repository that's visible on this page. Normally, you're going to choose questions from the question bank in the current course, but you might have questions in other courses that you want to choose from. For example, I might want to choose questions from the question bank in my English 1102 master course right here. I can open it by clicking this plus sign. These are all of the question banks in that course. I can open one of them, open the questions folder, and I can either choose the entire folder by clicking this box next to quiz or I can select individual questions. Let's just select the first two questions and we'll click Add Selected Questions. And there are the questions on this test, the two that we just added from the question bank. So if you have a question bank that has a lot of questions in it, you can select those questions when you're creating an assessment. The most important way that question banks are used is to create what's called question pools. Let's go back to lessons and we'll create a third test based on a question pool. Add content assessment, call it test 3. Again, we won't configure these tabs. We'll simply click Save, Add Question. And this time, instead of clicking True, False, or Browse Question Bank, we're going to click Question Pool. A question pool tells Angel to give each student a designated number of different questions from your question bank. So obviously, the more questions you have in your question bank, the better and more diverse your question pools are going to be, and the less likely it will be that students get the same questions. So you begin by telling Angel how many questions you want each student to get. Let's say 10. Then you tell Angel how many points the entire test is worth. Let's say 100. Now Angel knows that each question will be worth 10 points. Now, if you have a large question bank, do not click search. If you do, Angel will load every question in your question bank and you might be sitting there for 10 or 15 minutes waiting for those thousands of questions to load. A better way to do this is to click Choose Folders. Now, when you're creating a question pool, notice that you see only the question banks in your current course. You don't see the question banks in any of your other courses. You see current course and any repositories to which you have access. You can open these question banks by clicking the plus sign, but you cannot choose particular questions. You have to choose the whole folder at this point. In a minute I'll show you how to filter these questions if you want to. Let's choose the novel. If this is going to be a novel test, then all you have to do is choose this one folder. When you're finished, you click Done. And now the name of the folder appears in this block. Now, if you want to look at those questions and deselect some of them so that they don't appear in the question pool, you click Search, and Angel will search only the folder that appears in this block. 
and there are only two questions in here, but normally you would see dozens, hopefully hundreds or thousands, and you could start deselecting some if you didn't want Angel to choose from those questions. Another way to limit what questions Angel pulls from your question bank folder is to limit by question type. In other words, you select or deselect what question types you want included in the question pool. You can also limit by difficulty level if you have assigned difficulty level to the questions in the question bank. When you're finished, scroll down and save. And you now have an assessment based on a question pool that will pull questions from the folders that you selected. Let's click question pool so that we can review the kind of assessment we have created. This assessment will give each student 10 different questions and the test will be worth 100 points. All the questions will be pulled from the folder called the novel and the questions are not being limited by question type. In other words, you want all question types included and you have not limited the questions by difficulty level. You want all difficulty levels included. Let's cancel this. Remember that when you create a question pool, you can choose only from the question banks in the current course or in one of your repositories. A way around this is to store all of your question banks in your personal lore, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's get out of this. Let's go to the lore. You'll see all lores in which you're an editor. You can use a departmental lore for your test banks or personal lore. If you use a departmental lore, make sure that you discuss this with your division chair because if too many people are uploading tests to the question bank manager in a lore, it can become chaotic. One person needs to keep that organized. I'm going to go to my personal lore, click the Manage tab, and just like a course, you have an assessment question bank manager. Let's click it. And just like a course, you have the same organization pattern, current course. And under that, instead of the course name, it will have the lore name. And you can do the same things. You can add folders. You can add subfolders. You can add questions. For my English 1101 class, I added all of the test banks to my personal lore. And this is how I did it. Before anything was in this test bank, I clicked the arrow next to Personal. I clicked Add a Subfolder, and then I added each one of those subfolders. And then to the subfolders, I clicked Add Question. Browse Question Bank. And I chose my English 1101 Master Course and brought all of my question banks in that master course into my lore. And I chose to delete them from the master course after I did that so that these question banks would exist only in my lore. The beauty of using your lore this way is that when you get into an actual course and you want to create an assessment, let's create test number four, add content, assessment, save this, and if I want to add a question pool, question pool, choose folders, I'm no longer limited to my current course. I can now go to my lore where I've stored all of my test banks and I can choose from any that are in the lore. So this is why the lore is a good option for you to store your test banks. It gives you more options when you're creating a question pool. Instead of your only having that current course, you can look at everything that you've got in your lore and choose from those question banks.